so ready for lunch right now. I have some carrots that I wrapped in a couple pieces of turkey and then I dip it in hummus. It's like its own little mini burrito. It is so good. Well, it's not a burrito. It is a carrot wrap with hummus. And then these are snap pea crisps, which are baked snap peas that have been lightly salted and they are so delicious. So I am just ready to eat right now. Sorry if the lighting is a little off in here. I have my blinds closed and I know they say you're not supposed to watch TV while you eat. You're supposed to like focus on the food that you're putting into your body or something, but I just get bored sitting there just eating. So I like to watch a little bit of a show while I eat. Typically I get through like one show if I watch it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Obviously if I'm not going anywhere else for breakfast, lunch, or dinner that day, but I just sat down to watch a show with my lunch and I did not know that this was going to be a TV show, but then I looked it up online and it says that it's a TV movie, so they might just be doing like sections of it like for a TV show or a movie or something, but I am so excited. Delirium is a TV movie or TV show or something right now. I did not know that. I love the Delirium trilogy. I have read all three of them and I am just in love with them. And when I saw that that was the name, I didn't think that it would actually be Delirium. I don't know why. I think I just would have heard about it before now. Um, but I clicked on it and the first thing starts talking about Delirium like in the same way that the book started. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's it. So I wanted to tell you guys about it. If you read that book, um, I'm just watching it on Hulu right now for free, but you could probably get it on iTunes or anything like that. Um, you can watch the first episode and I'm so excited. So I'm in Elle's condo. She is making a cup of coffee as we get ready to start our live stream. And what are you doing over there? I'm making a bunch of ruckus. There is so much ruckus in the background. She did this tile to, well, she didn't do it, but she had someone do this tile to her columns and I have columns in my place and I wanna do this tile in my place. How beautiful is it? It looks like tree bark. It looks like, um like a tree made out of mother of pearl or something. Elle, could you be any louder? Where's Coney? Hi, Pineconito. Hello, Pineco. It's like, I don't see you that often. What are you doing? And look, her backsplash is mother of pearl as well, but it's a different mother of pearl, so it's not too matchy-matchy, but they go really well together. Like. OMG, double HKP, what is life? I don't know what that means, I just made it up. My rooms are navy blue. I am here with my beautiful sister Elle, and what are we doing right now? We're about to live stream. We are going to live stream, but not live stream, it's like a Google Plus Hangout. Hangout. Yeah, it's, um, like it's not on livestream.com, so I don't know why she calls it a live stream, but. Because it's a live stream. Stream a video. Yeah. So we have two computers set up right now. Oh, and we gotta go do it. We gotta go do it. Oh, she's getting mad at me because I'm holding up even though she just spilled a coffee and had to spend 10 minutes cleaning it up and then <laughs> wouldn't stop sneezing for 30 <laughs> minutes. So we gotta go, apparently. Hello, you guys. You are on my daily vlog right now. So Elle and I have been live chatting for two hours and 34 minutes right now, which is pretty insane mm -hmm. right now. So I will, wait, does it go onto your YouTube channel forever or just while it's live? I think it stays on there as a video forever. If it stays on there as a video, then I am going to link it for all of you in the description of this daily vlog. And if you did not know I was daily vlogging, if you're watching live chat right now, I am daily vlogging. So there's that. You guys, I just got my nature box delivered and I am so excited right now. This is probably my favorite delivery of the entire month. I'm obsessed with it. So let's see what I got. How do I make this box stay open? Okay, so got a little card that just tells us a little bit about um, the box and what you're getting. Dried California peaches, that sounds good. Lemon tucker pistachios, which I've had before and I really like them, so I'm happy I got this again. Santa Fe cord sticks, which you guys know are my home dog. And this is actually my bonus snack this month, so that's really cool because I love these and I eat them all the time. Edamix, I'm guessing something with edamame, it says, a mix of almonds, edamame, corn, and cranberries. Oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. Then I got some pistachio power clusters. I love pistachios. They're one of my favorite snacks ever. And then I got some 
whole wheat blueberry figgy bars. So that is gonna be good. You know who would really like these? My dad would eat these in one setting. I'm not gonna open any of the Nature Box items yet and taste them because I wanna keep it sealed because I know if I open them, I'm going to eat them all and I wanna save it for VidCon because I know that when I go traveling and to a hotel, that's when I eat junk food the most because it's in vending machines and I get hungry and I go get a bag of chips and you know, a ton of different junk foods. So when I take my own healthy snacks with me, I'm much more likely to eat them. So I'm not even gonna let myself open those. I'm just gonna take the entire box in my suitcase to VidCon because I wanna have some healthy snacks and some healthy options available for me. I just got home and took Teddy Bear on a walk and then changed into some PJs and now I'm going to do some emails, watch TV, and then wash my face, brush my teeth, and go to sleep. But if you watched the live stream that we did earlier today, you might already know a little bit of this. I kind of touched on it, but then afterwards I was thinking about it and kind of decided it was something that I wanted to talk to you guys about, which I wasn't exactly sure um, while I was doing the live stream. I wasn't sure if I really wanted to talk about it, but if you watch that, then you know that I went on a date tonight and I got a lot of questions about it and I let you guys help me pick out the dress I was going to wear. And for those wondering, I ended up wearing dress one, the Parker dress. And um, so I also got the question, are you single or are you in a relationship? And I told you guys that I was single and then I got a lot of questions about it. And so I just kind of want to break it down for you guys and let you know what's going on and why daily vlogging is a little bit iffy for me at this stage in my life because... You guys know I had a very public relationship at one point. I shared pretty much everything about it with you guys on YouTube. And then when we didn't end up working out, um, it's one of those things that when you end a relationship with someone, you don't really want to be asked about them every single day for the next two plus years. Um, and it's also something that is just kind of not that time frame of your life anymore. I don't know. It's just... I decided after that that I wasn't going to have any more public relationships until I was engaged. Once I was engaged and I knew I'd be with the person forever, then I would introduce him to you guys, but that I wasn't going to do it if I was just dating someone or anything like that. Well, I am single right now and it makes it hard because I don't want to daily vlog on dates or anything like that. But I also don't want to lie to you guys and tell you that I'm going somewhere that I'm not or that I'm doing something that I'm not. Anyways, so I just wanted to let you guys know that that's kind of where I'm at in my life right now. And it's actually been a reason before that I've stopped daily vlogs. So when I'm in Tennessee, it's easy for me to vlog without having to worry about that because obviously I date guys that live in LA because I live in LA. Um, so then when I would come back to LA, I'd stop daily vlogging and everyone would be like, oh, you're such a slacker. You're not vlogging anymore, which is true. I totally was slacking and wasn't vlogging for various reasons, but that was one of the really big ones. I started hanging out with a significant other again. Um, so right now I am dating in my life. I am, you know, hanging out and stuff like that. And I just wanted to let you guys know that in future vlogs, if I say something like, I'm going on a date, I'm not gonna vlog, or if I'm just like, I'm hanging out with a friend tonight that I'm not gonna vlog about, you guys kind of know what's going on. Um, and just kind of, I guess maybe I'm just asking to be a little bit respectful of it. I don't think any of you guys would not, but um, it's a personal decision and I know a lot of you are going to ask questions about it and stuff and that's totally fine, but if I don't answer it, then it's probably for a reason and I probably just don't want to talk about it. So that's kind of my two cents, what I wanted to throw out there. Sometimes daily vlogging gets hard when you're not in a steady relationship and stuff like that. And I don't know, it's just, it's a personal thing. So I'm going to go ahead and watch a little TV and get ready and go to sleep. But that was my two cents. And I hope you guys enjoyed this daily vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh my goodness, guys. What was my life last night and why did I think that was a good idea? Oh